so students let us discuss about the components of the balance of payment uh, there are two types of components four are there but two we are uh, here we have to be uh, in our syllabus that is current account and the capital account so first of all current account current account refers to an account which records all the transaction relating to the export and import of the goods and services and unilateral transfers during the given period of a time current account contains the receipt and payment relating to all the transaction of the visible item invisible item or unilateral uh, item a uh, transfers so components of the uh, current accounts are export and import of goods merchandise trans, uh, transactions and the visible trade all major part of the transaction in the foreign trade is in the form of export and import of the goods visible items payment of the imports of the goods are written in the negative side means the de debit item and the receipt from the export is shown in the positive side means in the credit side so balance of these visible exports and import is known as balance of trade or trade balance next is export and import of services in visible trade so what happen uh, um, it includes a large variety of non factor services known as invisible items sold and purchased of the residents of the country to the form of a rest of the world payment in the received are made on the other countries use of the services services are generally of three kind uh, shipping uh, banking and insurance payment for these services are ordered on the negative side and received in the positive side next we are discussing about the unilateral uh, and unrequited uh, transfer for transfer to and from the abroad unilateral transfer um, includes the gift donations personal uh, remittance and uh, other one way transactions it refers these refers to those receipt and payment which take place without any service in the return receipt of unilateral transfer from rest of the world is shown on the credit side and unilateral transfer to rest of the world in the debit side so income receipt and the payment to or from the abroad it includes the investment income in the form form of interest rent and profit next we will discuss about capital account so capital account records all the actual transaction of goods and services which affect the income output and employment of the country so it shows the net income generated in the foreign sector uh, so what is the uh, balance of the current account in the current account receipt from the export of goods and services and unilateral receipt are entered as credit or, or positive item and payment of the import of goods or services and unilateral item are entered as a debit or a negative item the net value of credit and debit balance is in the balance of the current account surplus in the current account arises when the credit items are more than debit item it indicates net flow and foreign exchange deficit in the current account arises when the debit items are more than credit items that is when foreign exchange receipt in the current account fall short of the foreign exchange payment it leads to current account deficit and negates the net outflow of the foreign exchange so this is the capital account balance mm, there are some deficit and surplus also the in the current account the main component of the capital account is borrowing and lending of the from the abroad all transaction relating to the borrowing from the abroad by private sector government etc receipt as such a loans of repayment of loan for the foreigners and recorded on the positive side then is investment and to a from um investment by the rest of the world in the share of indian companies real estates in india etc such investment from the abroad are recorded on the positive side 
they bring to the foreign exchange. Investment by Indian residents, it will be opposite side. They will be uh, uh, entry in the opposite side. Exchange of the foreign reserve. Uh, uh, the foreign exchange reserve are the financial assessment of the government held in the central bank. The change in reserve uh, serves as a financial item of an Indian uh, balance of payment. So any withdrawal from the reserve of recorded on the positive side and any addition, this reserve of recorded on the negative side. So this is the entry given to you us for the current trade account balance, capital account balance, all that. Now, this equilibrium of the um, um, in the balance of payment, uh, the surplus in the capital account arises when the credit items are more than the debit item. It indicates the net flow of the capital. Deficit in BOP accounts arises when the debit item are more than the credit item. It indicates the net flow of uh, the uh, account. So balance of a balance uh, payment uh, balance of current account versus balance of balance of capital account. Here, uh, what we have to do, we have to uh, correct this exchange. This is this thing with the help of uh, first of all, we will comparison. Doing the comparison, how can we do it? So um, the balance of uh, um, current account versus capital account. Mm, uh, a deficit in the current account must be settled by the surplus on the capital account. The surplus in the current account must be met by the deficit in the capital account. So it is the flow concept of including all the items in the flow nature, current account, capital account. It is a stock concept as it is include all the items expressing in the uh, change in stock. So this will happen. So let us discuss about the autonomous and uh, accommodating items. The transaction recorded in the balance of payment account the categorized in the autonomous transaction and according uh, accord, uh, accord, uh, transaction, accommodating transaction. So autonomous items refers to those international economic transactions which keep place due to in some economic motives such as profit maximization and uh, accommodating items uh, refers to the transaction that are undertaken to cover the deficit or surplus in the autonomous transaction that is such transactions are determined by the net consequences of the autonomous transaction these items are also known as below the line items now deficit in the balance of payment what is it mean in the short i will give you the introduction actually this part is deleted this year it is a little possibility of the balance of payment to be in the equilibrium during the given period uh, of a uh, time this equilibrium of pop in the country may be either in the form of deficit or surplus the surplus of the bop does not pose much of the problem but deficit will be created the problem because deficit in the balance of payment account is wherein arises when the total inflow of the account of autonomous transaction are less than the total outflow on the account of such a transaction. On the other hand, in the total inflow on account of autonomous transaction exceeds total outflow on account of a such transaction, their surplus balance of payment. So here this chapter in the syllabus is also finished.